welcome back to my channel i'm myra this is my channel myra studio today's video we are going to do you know some cute african natural hair style so i i think i had this um conroe three days ago yeah so i'm going to unravel and then come back so after unraveling my hair what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my big comb and then detangle the hair you know yeah so comb the hair to remove all knots uh, to stretch it so whenever you're attempting any protective style make sure you stretch your natural hair especially if you have short natural hair like mine okay now um after unraveling the hair and then combing i'll grab my rattle comb and then divide the hair into two equal parts so from ear to ear so the line from my ear you know to the other side okay and then it's i so i'm doing this to make sure that the um, I'll get the um, I'll get equal I, I mean equal parts of my natural hair all right so after um taking this after dividing the hair into two I mean I'll grab this gel you know if you look at my facial expression I am um, I don't trust this gel so much but in the end it, it did something you know <laughs> okay so the gel is in Eha. is it Eha? well egg hair 21 edge jelly okay so i'll apply a little of the gel on the line then then take my rattle comb go over the line again okay yes so after i'm going over the line i'll hold the hair in the back with my um with my scrunchie so i'm holding the back and uh, the hair backwards i mean with my scrunchie and then um, grab my rattle comb again and then um, take a section of the hair in front so what I, we are, what we are going to do is after taking a section i mean i'll grab the gel apply a little bit of the gel on the line and then go over the line again with my rattle comb so what we are going to do is what what i um, as i said earlier you are going to con roll so i'm going to con roll do con rolls in front of my natural hair so take the section apply your gel and then um, comb the hair a little and then i'll hold the rest of the hair and with a clip so that i can allow me to work and then start conrolling you know for this conroe it's not um, like a normal like the normal but um, like doing the conroes backward but here i'm doing it I, i'm conrowing and um, downwards i hope it makes sense okay so after conrolling you know my natural hair is short it's not too long so what i'll, I'll do is i'll grab a um, a kinky natural a uh, kinky natural hair extension a piece of kinky hair and uh, natural hair extension added to the hair and then continue on braiding so i'll continue on so that i can extend the length of my my hair i mean so continue on braiding all the way to the very end and then when i get to the very very end i'll twist it so that's how it looks like in the end okay now i'm going to um come row uh, do cornrows i mean continue with the cornrows <laughs> okay so i did three here i think four on the left side and then four on the right side and then um, three on the left side i mean the cornrows on my left side are not too perfect but that's okay we are still learning so grab um, your rattle comb or any other um, pattern comb you are using and then take a piece take a section i mean take a section of your hair so after taking a section of your hair apply the um, gel on the line any gel of your choice okay and then go over the line again with your rattle comb then hold the rest of the hair with a uh, with clip so that i can allow you to work comb the hair and then you take a piece so if you are learning how to comb roll, what you are going to do is you are going to take a piece of your hair okay divide the hair into three and then uh, overlap the hairs i mean the pieces and um, on each other and then you then um, start corn rolling so you are going to overlap so you are overlapping uh, yeah i hope it makes sense yes so you can roll all the way to the very end now if your hair is long there is no need to add a um, uh, um, natural hair extension yeah because my my hair is short and then um, i want to extend the length of my hair that is why um, i added uh, a piece of a natural hair extension so if your hair is short 
and I'll advise that if you want to extend it, you add a piece of a hair extension. It can be a braiding hair extension or a natural hair extension, kinky natural hair extension. So add it to the hair to extend the length because of the style we are going to create. Okay, all right. So add it to the hair and keep braiding all the way to the very end. So the very very end, you are going to um, twist the very very end. Okay, yes. So this is what you are going to do. All right, so let's come with the last um, section. Okay, so apply your gel and then you take a piece of the hair. So if you are contouring downwards, that's what you are going to do. If it is you are going, you are contouring upwards, you, you will apply the same method. Okay, so divide the hair into three like this. Okay, and then overlap the strands on each other. And uh, yeah, so you overlap them. And then you continue braiding so, or you continue contouring. So if your hair is short, then you add an, a, a piece of a natural hair extension to what to extend the length. If your if your hair is long, there is no need to do that. Okay. So I think I got 11, 11 braids. Yes, eleven braids. So the, I'm going to use these um, these beads uh, to style the hair. Alright, so I'll hold the braids with my scrunchie and then grab one braid on my right hand side and then feed the end of the braids with some beads, okay? Yeah, so as I said earlier, I'll feed the ends of the braid with some beads, okay? And then um, I'll grab another one. So I did two on the right side and then two on the left side, I mean. And the feeding, I did two on the left and then the two on the right side. Oh two on the right side and two on the left side as you can see then what I'm going to do right now the rest of the braids in front I'll grab my thread and needle and then use the thread and needle uh, to style the, the, the hair so I mean with my thread and needle what I'm going to do is I'll grab one um, strand of the braid and then um, hold the and the end of the braid and then place like like I'll bend the braid upwards okay so hold it bend the braid upwards place it on the on the temple of your forehead like to create some like to create a round like a round hole I don't know if you understand what I'm saying but <laughs> as you are watching you <laughs> you'll understand it better so place it um, on the temple it shouldn't go upwards just right here I mean <laughs> you just to watch it and then when you place it you place the end um, on the on the strand I mean in the in between the um, the strand and um, the braid yes then yes yeah, so then you grab your thread and needle and then you stitch it nicely to secure the um, the braid okay so that it doesn't unravel so I did the rest of the and um, I did the rest of camera yes so let's do the let's try the last and um, the I think the last one yes so grab the end bend the um, the end upwards and then place it on the temple in between the the um, the beginning of the braid okay in the end of the braid so in between yes <laughs> Yes, and then you and um, you grab your thread and needle, and then you stitch it to secure it. Cut the SS um, the SS thread with your scissors. All right, okay. Now after I'm styling the front to create that circle round 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 holes the circle whatever. <laughs> okay, I'll grab my Cantu styling gel and apply the gel on my hair to the hair. Okay. So I'm not trying to slip the hair at all. I just want the all the, the hairs to lay, you know, to lay down nicely. And then, then so I'm going to hold the hair upwards, okay? Upwards in the middle. Upwards with my scrunchie, so like a ponytail, like up, upwards, <laughs> ponytail. Yes, yeah, so watch me. I'll grab my scrunchie. You can also use a, a yarn thread if you have. But, um... I decided to use a, a scrunchie. Yeah, so hold it nicely. Make sure don't don't hold it too tight. If you do that, <laughs> um, you are going to like you will feel some pain. Okay, so don't don't hold it too tight. And then grab this um, chick metal cycle hair cuff to cover the and um, the 
I mean the scrunchie. So when you when I, I you use this um, this um, metal hair cuff, um, it's going to lift or elevate your ponytail. You know. Aha. <laughs> I hope you got it. Okay. And then grab this um, hair spray. It's hair and hold. It holds the hair to uh, I'll spray it on the hair so that it will lay down all the flyaways and then grab the and um, the edge gel to you know to just lay my edges and then um, cover my hair with a uh, this head wrap my satin head wrap okay and then go and do my makeup yeah for an hour and after my makeup guys look at me this is so beautiful so at this point I was like yes I did it <laughs> I couldn't wait so I called my sister I said check my hair check 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 and then you know wait let me finish up with my video and then call you back okay <laughs> guys do you know who inspired this look Jassy Carvalho on Instagram thank you sis for inspiring this look I love love this hairstyle it's so simple let me know if you love it let me know if you're going to try it thank you so much if you've left my channel please come back I miss you a lot love you guys so much please share comment subscribe see you all in my next one thank you love you bye